What's the deal, family? Welcome back to the Realist Action Channel on YouTube. It's your boy Sean, and we're here with another banger for y'all, man. So look, 2022 Guinness Six Nations Extended Highlights France versus Ireland. Okay, man, it's a big one right here. Very big one. You about to see this. Run this up. Check it out. See what they're talking about. Um, Unfortunately, I already know the results. You know what I mean? It took too long for me to get to the video. It was Super Bowl weekend. It was in L.A., man. It was in the city. And L.A. won, man. It was a long weekend for your boy, okay? It was it was a long weekend for your boy, man. Um, but L.A. won the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm, I'm content. I'm happy. I'm good. Um, I'm sure you guys can understand as the Six Nations is going on, the, NR, the NRL All-Stars and stuff is going on. Hey, man. It's a big... It's a, it's a holiday over here, right? My bad. It ain't going to take that long for the next ones. Don't worry about it. Anyways, man, like I said, this is a big one. Um, unfortunately, I already know who wins. But prior to that, it was a very big game because this could decide who may or may not be able to win the Grand Slam, which is basically beating every team. And if you beat every team, you automatically win the tournament no matter what. Um, so, yeah, even if any every team gets all the points, wins four matches, and gets all the bonus points in the matches that they lose... Still wouldn't be able to be somebody if they got the Grand Slam. All right, so it, it locks in that you win the tournament. Um, since both these teams are undefeated and Scotland so far has lost, this will decide right here. Is Ireland going to be able to capture a Grand Slam potentially? Or will potentially France have the opportunity to get a Grand Slam? This will decide that right here. So we're going to run this up. Check this out, man. Um, if you haven't, make sure you go watch my NRL All-Stars War Cry uh, versus Indigenous Haka. I'm sorry, Indigenous War Cry versus uh, Maori Haka. Then, what else I got? All the other, the other two matches, Italy versus England and Wales versus Scotland from the Six Nations. Go run that up, hit that like button, and subscribe. In the French pack for Italy, Francois Cross replaces Dylan Cretin. Anthony Gelange moves from the six shirt to number seven. Cameron Walkie took eight lineouts last week. Gregory Aldrete was a candidate for player of the match. The backs, Anthony Dupont and the captain and partners roaming into Mac again. Yora Morafana comes in Villiers. to the midfield for the injured Jonathan Dante. And hat-trick hero Gavian Villiers is again on Villiers the did wing. work last one. Last to the week. Ireland team, and it's the same pack as the one that faced and dominated Wales in Dublin last week. Changing the captaincy though, Furlong. James Ryan takes the armband this time. The front row goes again, Vander rated Fleer. as one of the best combinations in the world. In the backs, no Johnny Sexton, who injured his hamstring. No in Sexton. Training. Carberry in for his first Six Nations start. Sexton, who dropped that famous goal here in 2018 to start Ireland's Gibson Grand Park. Slam journey. And the replacements, the bench. Yo, I love how Gibson Park, uh, GP, bro, I love how he runs the, uh, the rucks, bro. Like, bro is just right there, boom, right there, boom, right there, boom, boom. He don't has no hezzies in him, bro. He go. He do what he got to do, get to that ball and make a play. I like it. Just Thibaut I like his style. Comes into the French 23. For Ireland, both Ian Henderson and Robbie Henshaw return from injury. O'Mahony, Peter O'Mahony. Well, both teams are in form. France and Ireland beat New Zealand in the autumn internationals. Ireland looking to take their winning run in internationals into double figures. Damn, okay, France is getting aggressive Here's early. Steve okay, Lyle I like it. Our world feed as Intermac goes Ooh. quickly. Moafana immediately shows good feet. Here's the hat trick man from last week, Gamin Villiers. Antoine Dupont gets it away quickly to Damien Penault. An unbelievable 17 touches on the ball for Penault a week ago. Cameron Walkie, born in this local district of Saint Denis, a tough upbringing for him, a real talent. Okay, now that's looking like France. And now the human asteroid. That is, Weenie Antonio goes. Great start from France. And it's into Mac. Oh! To his little mate. Of course, Dupont shoulder. is there. Of course, he's there. Bro, I like that start to France. I like that start from the Frenchman. I like it. They 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 played that Ireland run it straight ball. And then they just opened out and easily got a score. They literally played Ireland run it straight ball. Sucked them in. 
it was too easy, broke back outside, and it was a wrap. That's literally the opposite of how I tell Ireland to play. Because <laughs> they're opposite teams. <laughs> I literally always say Ireland should just run and gun and then lock down how they usually do it in France. Pulled the opposite and did what Ireland does and then did with the Damn! A two lose! <laughs> One, two! Stupor! Wow. Good try. It is a sizzling sensation. Talking about a two minute drill. By France. Damn! Well, it's exactly the opposite of what Ireland wanted to happen. I can't they even be France mad. Space and time from the quick line out. Moa Fana only mentioned it moments before. Brilliant ball to Villiers, the danger man. And look, at you mentioned a human asteroid. There is nothing like that from a defensive perspective when you're trying to stop that coming at you. Uni Antonio. And then it's just about the class of Untamak and Dupont. We see it time and time again, the way they work together. Good work, dude. It's a bit of a speculative ball. Yeah, it looked look damn near Intamak, forward, but, but when you know, the Ooh, that looks forward, low key. Running up and down that central but channel, it's all right. under a fair bit of pressure, and there's no more pressure than a Six Nations match of this magnitude, and it's a seven points to nil lead and a catapult of a oh, start that, for the home team, and you just know they'll thrive emotionally on this. Well, that's one thing that the Irish have to do here. Is is stem that momentum two gets minutes bro again. and it's oh tight bird wasn't he hammered back there carberty it's going to get wrapped up as you know he uses that footwork really well to get away from a couple of tacklers gentlemen of perpignan keeping the likes of Antony Butier i don't like that Dula i don't like this team. and that's part of the reason why his goal kicking is generally immaculate i know to Cam cameron walkie went with his own sneakers do you call them sneakers? Maybe the kids Sneaker, out there yeah. don't. He moves like oh! a... Oh! Mac Hansen! That's Mac what we Hansen. need! High alive was Get your head Hansen in the game! On a second Get your head in the game! Hand. Oh, my goodness. Have you That's ever right. seen anything? That's like right, that boy. Mac Hansen. He has really announced his arrival on the international scene. Player of the match. That's called head in the game, he bro. He has really announced his arrival on the international scene. Split four of them, bro. Split four of them. They didn't even expect he was going to be there like that. Same Caught it. Player of the match what are we talking week. about, bro? Doesn't take his eyes off the ball at all. All I'm saying, when I be saying NFL rejects, right, they could just be there for plays like this. Like, imagine how, like, rugby would change when you got players who are so used to catching like that. Constantly playing. I don't know if this is illegal. What if you wear can wear gloves like they do in the NFL? I don't think you can wear gloves. I never see it. But if you could, hey, just saying. That'd be money all day for an American. We that's like we grow up learning how to run. Uh, you know, Randy Moss. You know what I'm saying? Randy Moss. I'm about to moss you. You know what I mean? Now they be saying I'm gonna Odell you or whatever. But you know what I mean? more used to it it's part of our part of our game part of our culture we could throw that into rugby and it'd be more like our thing that we do <laughs> all right just ignore me i'm sorry utter confusion between jaminet and Penno. great play though brilliant retake off the kickoff he lived in america for two fans. years and played wide receiver in numerous, high school by the way that's why he could do that uh, in absolute <laughs> Raptures. Yeah, they better figure it out. The French absolutely ice cold, but it was all about the alert work of Mac Hansen and Joey Carberry, who can be a truly deadly goal kicker, closes that gap. And two bricks, aren't they? Those two, Julian Marchand, Ronan Kelleher. Both players superb in the loose, but they got to get the line out stats high as well. And that's a good take by the captain, James Ryan, captain of Ireland for the sixth time today in the absence of Sexton. Now, one thing that France did really well wow. last week was their breakdown work. It's villains are coming up with the ball there. That's on a this big occasion. dude right there. Perpignan play the Stade Miserale, the atmospheric Catalonian blood down there. And deadly accurate right here. Since early December for the World Player of the Year, Antoine Dupont. Fiku 
and to Mack. Oh, that's good. Good work, good work. Get that back. Good yeah. That's the overall pressure from Gabbard Belli. Yeah. Oh, he's an impressive little man, isn't he? Villiers, bro, on front, on France. Hey, offensively you impressed me. Now defensively you showing me some stuff, man. I gotta see you, bro. I see you, Villiers. I well, see you, dog. Damian Pano was signaling for the ball. And he gets it. You on my watch list, bro? From Dupont. What an offload it is to Moafana. Brilliant French rugby there on the front foot now. Off goes Marchand. Dupont comes in for the ball. Oh, Dupont with the wild passes. And it's Willems out. Who does he think he is? Dan Sheen and Jack Conan. Into Mac, and it's another fumble. Yep. Well, it's always Dupont, isn't it? That adds spice. Always. To that French attack. He's always there. On there. He is always there every fucking play. He's there. Dupont, there. Dupont has thrown an absolute worldy left-hand pass to Penno. That was nice. Who's created something out of nothing. When Penno put his hand up, I thought he wanted Dupont to kick it to him. Yeah. Not pass it to him. That was back in the day when we were quite happy to chase kicks. Germany, very focused. He's been imperious so far and a pretty simple kick for him 16-7 well, that's a great game retaining possession has been an issue in goes Willems again it's like being hit by a sock full of snooker balls when Willems are hey, look at France and looking like Ireland out here doing what he does brilliantly. running straight he looks a lot sharper this week than he did last now walking tag burn tries to strip it away Well, it's right in front of the post again, this penalty advantage. Let's go to half-time. Would be a nice little psychological dig in the ribs for Ireland if this one goes over for France. There's a real crispness about that man strike. A real confidence, too. And it's the French looking for their second 16 to 7 win. is not a good look, buddy. Y'all better get it together. Into the half -time. One try apiece, Antoine Dupont. France is out here using his. the running straight Antoine challenge. Then they out here spreading the fly like an eagle, spreading the field. Then they come back in running straight. Man, what you, what you gonna do with these cats? What are you Joey gonna do with gets us underway for Ireland's second half. And you feel that Ireland need a bit more power, a bit more bulk and ferociousness. If they're Something, bro. Like, French side. They just not playing with no fire, bro. Like Ireland, I mean, sorry, Ireland, France, fr France has been playing with fire since the beginning of the match, and not at uh, one second have I seen Ireland pull out any fire. No fire, bro. They just playing. They playing hard and they playing, but they just playing. Like there's no urgency. France is playing with urgency, bro. We want the grand slam and we want it now. Before before the Six Nations was happening. All I kept getting was messages and comments, man. Ireland saying they getting the, the Grand Slam. Ireland going to get the Grand Slam. Ireland is confident they going to get the Grand Slam. I was even looking at articles on the Six Nations website, and Ireland was talking about they about to get the Grand Slam. I'm not seeing none of that Grand Slam urgency that I was hearing prior to the Six Nations happening right now. Week two. Week one, I seen it. Week two, I'm not seeing it. Not that we going to get the Grand Slam urgency now. I'm not seeing that. I saw that in the first week. That's why I picked you guys for the second week, even against France. <sighs> it's tough, bro. It's tough. And he makes a tackle again. And I don't care who wins, really. But it, gives, it makes it more interesting for me to have a team and pick that team for the win. Not like, well, I don't, I don't care. They're not USA. You know what I'm saying? Like... I do want Ireland to win, even though I know they took this L, but... Sean ah. Edwards, coach defense, of course. Here is Tag Burn. It's old Dreed who tries to hold him up with Willems. Referee uh. says, on. release the tackler. Right. Now Gibson Park. Now Conway's on an angle here. It's not quite the ball he was looking to run right. onto. Stop, stop. In front. No in front there, Ireland. So another... A little bit of discipline, frustration, and yet again, it's inside their own half. It's that clipping style of Jamonese and good kick. God damn. Does he ever miss? <gasps> Not.
It's another brother. It's a brother, bro. Oh, it's a brother. It is a brother. Yo, I saw a brother in the last game, Wales versus Scotland. And we no, I saw two brothers. Now we got another brother right here, man. Look at we see him more brothers in the rugby matches, man. That's what I like to see, man. Very often is the answer. Gotta spread Brilliant. our horizons Absolutely out here, man. Brilliant from Jamide. Get into positions in and over the breakdown. Turn the ball over. Brilliant. Dan Sheehan to Caelan Doris. Now, can France defend this? Can Ireland find their power tools and get over the line? Oh, they can indeed, they can. That it's 22 points stuff. too damn late, bro. 22 they to 12. Their way through that big French pack. I'm going to take it, though. This second half. This 22 points too late, buddy. They had to put pressure on that scoreboard. But it's too easy, isn't it? The French gave the penalty away, put themselves under a huge amount of pressure. Brave choice from the Irish to go to the corner, and then really for the work. setup, France Good defending work. the back Good of work. the line. Good work, y'all. Shift to the front. Oh, that'll do Ireland very nicely indeed. But it's all coming. Oh, it's 22-14. We creeping. Well. Ireland win that line out, and off goes Tag Furlong. They get fur long. Bustling, bullocking runs of his. So typical of the man, Gibson Park. Ireland are usually no. so good at ball retention in these positions. They were under Joe Schmidt. They now under, are under Andy Farrell. Bundy Aki. Patience, cohesion. Build the phases now. Ireland changed coaches. Their coach used to be Owen Farrell's dad. Or something, right? Their old coach. And then for this year or for this 22 six station, they have a different coach. Is that what I'm hearing? And that Andy Farrell, which is Owen Farrell's dad, used to be their coach. That was last year. This is what I'm just assuming. And this is why their gameplay changed. Even when, because when I saw that week one match, I was like, damn, they're playing different. And what about Autumn Nations? Who was the coach then? Was it the new dude or was it Andy Farrell? Let me know in the comments. I wait for the French to tire, make a mistake, afford Ireland a gap. Jamison gets Oh, let's get it. He's the one who finds a gap. And Gibson Pork. Gibson Pork, what I'll tell you. A web through that I got my eye defense. on you, Gibson. I see you, bro. In and around the break. Villiers, I see you. As he looks up, Cameron Walkie calling numbers around and it's Villain Oh, good work. Good Brilliant. work. It's got to be a bit of a worry for France now, Tom, because those sinkholes now are beginning to appear in their defence. So fully match fit, Joey Carberry, very little rugby time. Damien Penault. Now, like, can they find the space through Moe Fana? Here is Villiers. He can dance Ooh, and beat look at here. Such a strong, wary little Beast. man. Into my great hands to Damien Penault. Tackle! Oh, what good work from Penault. He somehow Do gets something. the play. What is Sean doing? Oh, what good you gonna let him do that? You gonna let him do this? You gonna let Villier catch it? Here's Villier. Then eventually he is manhandled into touch. And tell Fifanu. Here's Gibson Park. Now they need this exit. All right, Gibson Park. Do your do your do your ruck speed. Ruck speed, man. Remember, you ain't the you ain't you ain't eleven or fifteen. Oh, they've got the ball. Here's Wayne Antonio. Can he get his 22 and a half stone on the line? Battering, banging, hammering on the, the Irish door. And it all comes crashing down. That's crazy. There's nothing flash about this. Give me the ball. You know it's bad. I can't show you. France got 27 points with two tries. Ireland has 21 points with three. Come on, bro. I'll get us on the front foot. First, Antonio. Just three Angus points. Gardner gets absolutely cleared out. Referee goes flying. Oh, Cyril Bay. <laughs> Look at the ref. Cleared out. Look at the ref. Referee goes flying. Cyril Bay knocks Damn. over. One, two. Takes another two with him. 27-21 with a kick to come. 
Good work. France good try, me. France. That was a good try. Franz Yamane, can he keep that 100% record? No, he can't. Ah, that was a pretty behind. critical one. Try and rebuild from the back. Oh, what a take by Intermac. Bravely flying good in. Catch. Like a trapeze artist. Turnover is good again. And Dan Sheehan almost throws it into the midst of Damien Penault. Well, <laughs> have you heard the <laughs> good man Joey? That wasn't me, said that. That's a cry from the crowd. <laughs> Massive figure of Demba Bamba. Sets for Luku. Dylan Cretta. Another man of 19. Is definitely going to end here. In goes Kaelin Doris. Oh. Look at off his feet there. Here is in to Mac. Oh, is he through? Is he through? Oh, he's through. All right. What a try it is from Melvin Jamine. What is y'all doing, bro? Pretty boys. Looking crazy at out here. Cause carnage to this Irish defence and the immaculate fullback from Perpignan. Yeah, agree, Angus. You stick with your on-field decision. I got no angles to definitively show the ball is grounded. Okay, so it's going no to be try. no try. Our on-field decision was uh, no, no, uh, no try. Okay, yep, held up. But I was playing the advantage <laughs> there. <laughs> hey, no. he ain't he ain't Nigel Owens. He kind of stuttered a little bit. He wasn't ready for the smoke. So it's going to be a no try. Our on-field decision was uh, no, no, uh, no try. Okay, yep, held no, up. No, but no I was try. Playing the penalty advantage there. So we're playing it on this way, okay? Nigel Owens would have been like, nope. Problem. Sorry, bro. Good tracking. For Melvin Jamale. That's tough. That's tough. No grand slam for Ireland. France Look continue their quest for a grand slam. It would be their first <sighs> slam wow. and championship for 12 years. The next they go to Scotland in two weeks' time to Murrayfield. Gregory Aldrete has been announced as the player of the match, the Guinness player of the match, an award he possibly could have won a week previously against the Italians if it hadn't been for the superb hat trick from Gabin Villiers. A crushed Irish side, but it's France who have won here in Paris. Final score, France 30, Ireland 24. Damn, bro. So that basically, let me see son. All right, so this is the standings now, man. The standings after the first two matches, man. We got France in first with nine points, Ireland in second with six, Scotland in third with five, Wales in fourth with four, England in the fifth with one point, and Italy with no points. And now I'm about to go watch the uh, England versus Italy match. I know England won, but we're going to see by how much, see what the points look like. And that's it, man. Let's look at week three. All right, so unofficially, this is unofficial. If you guys want my official take on week three, check it after this game because I'm kind of changing it as I see people play. Uh, I got France. I got France, Wales, and uh, I got France, Wales, and Ireland. But that could change. This is the one that might change. If England plays, ah, no, nah, that's unfair. Yeah, it's probably going to be France, Wales, and Ireland. But if you want to know official, official, uh, go watch my reaction to the Italy versus England match. And that's it, man. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real's rare. We'll always reaches everyone next time. Peace.